Hello gang, Chunks of Earth here. Good evening, how are you? That's great. Me too. Um, of course I follow this political nonsense quite closely. It's one of my hobbies, watching people lie unashamedly. And recently here in South Florida, one of the large GOP backers is a gentleman by the name of Earl Stewart. He runs a car dealership. Has for at least three decades, I believe. And he is in the news because he wanted to erect a flagpole with the world's largest flag, or the United States' biggest flag. It's 50 feet by 60 feet. And he wanted to erect it above his dealership big American flag. It'd be a nice way to bring people in and to show his patriotism. He said that the reason behind it was because he wanted to honor the heroes of 9-11. And what better way to honor that would be the foot of freedom for each life that was given by these people. 313, I think, 323, something like that. Well, the town didn't really like that too much because it doesn't go with anything. But I thought it was interesting that he pushed this measure and he said, I'm used to people telling me I can't do things, but I do it anyway, which is a very GOP attitude. Screw you. Me. What about me? I want stuff. I don't care what you want. It's about me. I also find it quite interesting that he made his millions in this car dealership. What brand of automobile do you think he sells? this patriotic American. Chevy? GM? Dodge? Hmm? No. Toyota. Toyota dealer wanting to erect the American flag to talk about how patriotic he is. Doesn't seem phased by it at all. Isn't that great? Doesn't give a shit about the jobs that Americans don't have because of people like him selling Japanese cars. Doesn't talk about the lack of patriotism on his own standing behind American products. Nah, that's bullshit. Me! Another example of that true American spirit. I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you. More to come. Thanks for watching.